Is your Toro mower moving too slow? Or maybe you're going too fast. And there's not even a word about it in the owner's manual. Here's how to adjust it. Hey guys and gals, welcome to Garage Gear. I'm JB, giving you the best tips and tricks to survive life in and out of the garage. Now, if you have this Toro Super Recycler or another model with a personal pace drive system, these procedures are generally the same. First, you wanna make sure that the lawnmower is completely off. Then what we need to do is looking at our personal pace drive system, we need to find the transmission cable that links up to it. Following it down from the personal pace, here we are. This is the adjustment bolt. Now, in some older models, this here used to be a knob that made adjustments really easy to do on the fly. But it seems like Toro wants you to pull your unit back into the garage, bust out your socket set, and have a little more fun. Do you see these tiny, shiny individual rungs here around each side of the cable on each side of the bolt? What I'm gonna do with these is take a simple Sharpie and mark my current location. You can do this on both sides of the cable if you wish to do so. This is going to be our home base. In case we wildly screw up the adjustment, we can always come back to this point. The mower should still move, not ideally, but at least we could come back to this if we need to. From here, you're gonna take a 7 16 inch socket, you're gonna stick it on that bolt and loosen it up a few turns. You do not need to take this bolt all the way out. Then, ever so gently, slide this metal rung section of the cable up or down. To increase your traction, pull the cable down toward the engine. To decrease your traction, pull the cable up toward you. And to help this video get some traction with the YouTube algorithm, would you mind taking a super quick second to hit that like button down below? Thank you very much. Warning, adjust the cable one to two threads at a time. You noticed I only moved the cable about one or two clicks down. You will be surprised how much one or two rungs on that transmission cable will radically change the drive pattern of this mower. Once you have the cable in position and adjusted to your liking, tighten the bolt back down. Keep in mind, we're dealing with a plastic bolt mount here, so you don't want to over tighten this. Once you have it tightened up, fire up the engine and give it a test in your driveway. If all seems good in the driveway, test it in the grass. The added friction of the grass can slow your traction a little bit. At this point, you should be good to go. But if not, follow the steps from earlier all over again. And only slide that cable up or down one or two threads until you get it just right. Now adjusting this cable too much one way or the other could cause the machine to pull itself forward too much. In fact, even making the mower move without even putting any effort into the personal pace. Or too much the other way could cause the machine to become very difficult to back up. Now if your machine is not backing up properly, I'm most likely going to be getting into that in another video. But it may not hurt to give your adjustment here a look. If you've had your machine for a while now, it's seen a lot of use, and maybe you adjusted the unit many, many times, you may want to consider checking your belt or replacing it because it's most likely stretched out. A newer belt will bring a whole new life to this machine. Now, Toro claims that these units are set up and ready to go right out of the box. Mm. Maybe. Some shops or dealers may check them before they sell them. That's a good thing. And some big box store employees may just slap them together without even testing them. Probably. After about my first four to five mows, I actually had to adjust the personal pace because when I pushed the personal pace down, the machine was barely moving. Bruh. But just know, if you decide to buy one of these Toros, you're gonna have to make some adjustments along the way as these machines break in. That cable is not gonna be set in one spot for life. Now, if you're new to personal pace, it's a good idea to learn how to walk with the machine. As you walk with each step, you should walk into the machine with your elbows bent and simply keep walking. Your mower will go, easing into it and off of it doesn't stress out your belt, your transmission, or your wheel gear. Don't be Mr. Hit It and Quit It. None of the ladies like that guy. Also, if your personal pace handlebar isn't rebounding back or it's just falling forward, then give your spring underneath a look. I've seen these break right up here at the hook before. Simply dismantle the plastic assembly here with these screws. Make sure you do it on both sides. Pull the spring out from your handlebars, slide the new spring into place, reassemble your personal pace, and life is good. Now here's what grinds my gears with Toro in general. There isn't even one single word about adjusting this in the owner's manual. In fact, there aren't even any words, there's just a bunch of setup photos. They do have some basic maintenance videos, so I'll give them some points there. Look at how thin this is. Toro has really cheaped out over the years. Toro, you better get your act together. For more cool garage gear content, click or tap the screen right here. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the garage.